you guys Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you all my favorite smoothies. If you know me in person or know me from my vlogs, I make smoothies so much and I thought it would be fun to do an updated one of these. I filmed one about a year ago. I've definitely discovered new things in the past year and new techniques and like my faves. So if you want to see what my go-to smoothies are, then just keep watching. My favorite blender is the Vitamix 5200. It is a bit pricey, but it will last you forever. And yes, look how filthy that is. I use this every single day. I will leave a few other blender options in the description below. This is my absolute favorite for either breakfast or post-workout because it is full of delicious protein. The first thing you're going to need is organic peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter. I've tried so many different brands. This is my fave. The key to making this smoothie as good as it is, is using ripe bananas. You almost want to use riper bananas than this. The spottier the better, and I always freeze them. When you freeze the bananas prior to making the smoothie, it just makes it extra, extra creamy and rich. This is coconut cream, and it is so easy. All you have to do is put a can of coconut milk in the fridge overnight, and it hard the top hardens, so I use about a tablespoon of that as a good, healthy fat. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks this, but I used to be terrified of dates because I thought they looked like cockroaches. But after adding them to my smoothie and realizing how sweet they are, I will never go without adding them again. You can use whatever almond milk or nut milk you prefer. This is my favorite. It's by Califia. I think that's how you say it. And then also have been loving this flax milk and I use roughly about a cup. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you pit your dates because yeah, just that's very important. I, I don't really need to explain that any farther. If you didn't know, they have a big, huge seed in the middle. And so here I am just adding all of the other ingredients. That's the coconut um, cream, or I think it's called coconut cream. I'm not even sure. And adding peanut butter. The more the merrier, in my opinion. I was running low and so it was very devastating. It wasn't quite peanut buttery enough. And then of course I had to lick the jar. Yum. Now this is where you add your milk and all of the measurements are going to be in the description box below. So you can write it down or take a screenshot of it, whatever you need to do to remake this divine shake. I would recommend blending this for a minute, a minute and a half, just to make sure everything is blended and incorporated well. I personally love using these mason jars. I get them at Walmart. They're very inexpensive. They're glass and just amazing. So look at how perfect that filled this cup. And also I got these lids from Walmart as well. I prefer them over the metal ones. And like I said, this is my favorite either breakfast or post-workout meal. It is essential in my daily life. Now this is my favorite green juice. I say you can never have too many greens, so yes, let's get started. It kind of seems like I'm cheating a little bit because I'm not making this homemade, but this video is all about my favorite smoothies. So I get this pack from Costco. I think it is the most convenient thing. If you guys have a Costco nearby, check this out. So easy. It's the easiest smoothie you can ever do. It has kale, apples, pineapple, broccoli. I've never had broccoli in a smoothie before. You can't even tell. And the reason I have coconut water instead of water, which is what they recommend, is because I personally don't like to drink it on its own, so I add it to a smoothie. I add the entire 11 ounce container or pack, juice pack, I don't know how to say it. I add it all and it blends perfectly and is just the exact consistency that I like. So here I am just blending it in my favorite blender and again, just blend it until it's really, really, really smooth. I again will have this smoothie for a breakfast, but I'll usually add either like some peanut butter or almond butter toast on the side just to get some protein. But I mean, any time of the day. And here I'm showing you the leftovers. You can drink that right on the spot or sip out of the container a little bit to make some more room. So it's really the perfect measurements. If you let this sit, even for like five minutes, the consistency kind of changes. 
So this is what it looks like directly or like immediately after I blended it. And then this is what it looks like even three minutes after. So don't be concerned if you bring it to school or put it in your bag and it separates. It's still delicious. All it needs is a little shake. This is the Tropical Delight. It looks really nasty and gross, but it tastes amazing. You're going to need a blend of frozen papaya, frozen mango, and frozen strawberry. I again get this blend at Costco. The way I measure it out is just using the mason jar that I'm gonna use for that day. My favorite pineapple is from Trader Joe's, but Costco would honestly be the best place to get it because of the price and the size. And again, using one banana, but of course I freeze it because I just think it makes the texture so much creamier. I personally like to use a green juice that tastes disgusting if I would just drink it alone. This is from Sambazone. It's just purifying greens and I'm sure I butchered the name. I got this green juice from Walmart. I was shocked at the price and it's organic. The price was probably $2.50, I think. It tastes disgusting alone, and so that's why I like to use it in my smoothies. The way I measured this out is just pouring the liquid into the cup with the frozen fruit, and it usually comes out perfect. Joe's offers such amazing tasting smoothies at a really affordable price. I highly recommend the Very Green 100% Juice Smoothie. It's a great pick-me-up if I'm in town and am in a hurry. The wonderful ingredients in this are apple juice, banana puree, mango puree, pineapple juice, kiwi puree, spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, ginger, blue-green algae, parsley, and garlic. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed these smoothies. Again, all the measurements are down below. Bye, guys!